What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lex, and welcome back to my channel. And hey, girl, if you are new to my channel, I am Alexis, and today's video is about natal charts. Actually, something happened to me recently that made me go back and listen to my natal chart reading from 2020, and I had some, like, epiphanies almost from the reading, and I was like, you know what? A lot of people are interested in natal charts and things like that and readings. So I'm going to share my experience and some things that I have learned from the reading and just about life in itself. So before we get started, you know, I will always shout out my business, Siren Fantasy. So we're going to do a product spotlight. Today's sunglass is Calypso. We have Calypso in black and orange. So hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me style it for y'all. Okay. Here's Calypso. This is one of the staple girls. So if you don't know, all of my glasses are named after Greek goddesses. And now we have a couple African goddesses getting up in the mix, babe. I got Oshun up one in there. I got Shango on it. Like the names is getting creative, y'all. So make sure you go check out Siren Fantasy. And listen, I just sold out of my last goddess box. And the goddess box is... 10 pairs of glasses with new shades and my staple pieces mixed in together and a beautifully decorated box with butterflies and glitter and everything, a girl's dream. So we sold out, but tomorrow is the big announcement. And if you're watching this, like, what's today? March 22nd is today I'm recording. So on March 23rd, I will be announcing the new box. So make sure you check us out on all social media handles, TikTok, Sour Fantasy, Instagram, Sour Fantasy, and you can always find me on here on YouTube. So thank you to each and every person that supports my businesses or anything that I do, my Etsy store, my YouTube channel, just whatever that you support me on. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate y'all and y'all keep me going. So many people ask me, you know, Alexis, we want the videos, we want the videos, we want the videos. It's coming, babe. It's coming. So. This video is important, so make sure that you stay tuned to the end, and I want you to drop a specific emoji. I'm going to tell you at the end, and I know you watched it to the end if you dropped this emoji. So stay tuned, y'all. Okay. So I got a natal reading in 2020, like in October-ish, right? And I first I told my friend, you know, she referred me to the woman, and I was like, okay, like I really like this woman. I like her teachings. I like what she's talking about. Let me get the reading. I was so excited. I was so excited. Like, I had to wait like three weeks or something for my appointment. So I was like, yes. <laughs> when it came the day of, and I think one, I was just overly excited that I really probably wasn't listening to what she said. Like, I, that's how excited I was, and then I was like nervous and just like. I had so many emotions because one, I was excited to meet her and, you know, excited to hear what she was going to say. I was like, girl, she going to tell me I'm Beyonce. I already know that. Like, whatever. I don't know what I thought that she was going to say to me, but I can honestly say I didn't receive anything that she said. Like, I heard her, but I did not hear her. And like... She told me the video was recorded and I was um, Zoom meeting her on my phone. So I was actually trying to take notes as she was talking because I didn't know. She kept saying that she didn't know if it was going to take because I'm on my phone and she was on a computer and my laptop was broke. So I was also like, oh my gosh, well, I can't lose all this information that she's telling me. So I'm trying to write it down and listen because like when I rewatched it, when I rewatched it, I could hear myself like, yeah, okay. She's like, well, you don't have to write everything down. You know, it's going to be recorded. And in my head, I'm like, well, if it doesn't record, like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? And so I was like, honestly, I was overexcited and I just really did not receive the message. So coming back, fast forwarding, literally like a year and a half later, I kept telling myself to listen to this recording, listen to this recording, listen to it, Alexis. You need to hear whatever she's saying. And after the reading, I told you that my friend that referred me and then I told my sister, like, actually, like, maybe four or five months ago about the reading. And I kind of just said I wasn't really thrilled about it. And they was like, well, what was it? I was like, maybe she didn't tell me what I thought I was going to hear. But in actuality, I didn't hear anything that she said. <laughs> like, it was too many variables that was just going on. I was writing. I was excited. I was nervous. I didn't really know what to say. 
I had questions and then forgot all of my questions. Don't be me. Write your questions down. Like, <laughs> you know, and be very, like, in the moment. I was not in the moment. Like, I thought I was, but I wasn't. And listening to the video again, she told me, like, everything that I really needed to hear. Like, and things I knew about myself because I've been studying astrology. But she told me things and... The things that she said have just made so much sense. And I've always said to myself, watch the video again, Alexis. Just watch the video again. And I did it until like two days ago. And it was just so crazy. I mean, yes, I was listening. But like, I think I just wasn't receiving everything. But everything she said made so much sense about me and I'm so into these things. Like, I've looked up cardology. I'm not going to say this right, but astro cartography, the maps of the world. Um, what else have I looked up? Human design. Like, I know I'm a manifesting generator. And things like that. Like, I look up so much astrology and all kinds of things like that on the regular. Like, it really, like, sparks my interest. And to go back and to listen to this recording of what she was telling me one about exactly who I am and of course you know patterns about you like when I read my natal chart um on cafe astrology I was like oh my god this was like I was born into this oh my god like some of the things I was reading I was like oh my gosh like that's really me I just thought it was like conditioning from life no that's really me oh my god like when you start reading, I was like, yeah, like, oh my goodness, like, I'm really thinking this is conditioning. This is really, 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 really me. And like, if you don't know, I'm a Virgo. I have a Sagittarius rising. So like, I think that in and of itself is like a true depiction of me. Like, I can be the stern Virgo and I can be the fun Virgo. And then I can be the wild, free, adventurous Sagittarius. And... I relate to a lot of the energies that I saw on my chart and the signs. And I was like, okay, I know I'm an earth sign. And people make so much fun of Virgos being just like particular, blah, 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 blah. Like all, all the Virgo shaming and hating. But it's true to an extent because I'm a very fun Virgo. Maybe the Sagittarius like helped me out. But I am like, I have my ways. I'm very particular. I'm very meticulous. I like see everything even if I don't say it I see it all the time and I think that's one of the biggest benefiting factors of me being a chef is that I literally could see everything like my chefs used to ask me like is this person good is like they would ask me things because they knew I could see it like I knew in the first 30 seconds if someone was actually worth hiring worth cooking like Whatever it is, like, my intuition never fails me. And just the natal reading alone, like, just listening to it was just so crazy. It was bizarre because imagine taking taking what she said and applying it from that moment on. Granted, don't say in the past, but, like, just to hear it again really, like, replenished and refreshed my soul and really, like, had me ready for the world again. Because I have been like, I've been stretched so thin, y'all. I've been running two businesses and trying to become a better person, be a better friend, you know, be a better business owner and just live my life unapologetically because you get one life. And I think me learning these natal charts, like learning my natal chart and learning so much about astrology has really helped me because... Yeah, when the full moon comes, I do rituals, new moon rituals, and just exploring a side of myself that I never thought I would, essentially, because, you know, some people get locked down by religion and things like that, but I've honestly allowed myself to just go with the flow of life and go whatever way I want to, and, you know... I can say, I think I used to be like, it was just so like heavily preached that astrology was bad. 
and like just never pay attention to it but i'm like so why do every time when i read my horoscope it's right like <laughs> why is it right so the fact that i'll kind of push beyond my self-imposed barriers and opinions that other people have kind of pushed onto me and started making decisions for myself you know it feels freeing and it's an experience so I do encourage people to go look up these natal charts, these cardologies, these human design charts, because you never know what you can learn about yourself. And you like even in the relationships and the friendships, like I always have like I'm fun. I'm fun, but like I always get friends that are even funner than me. So it's like they pull out even more fun in me. And then I'm usually the more responsible friend. Like, I'm fun. I'm like the hybrid friend. I'm fun and I can be responsible, very responsible. Like, take care of myself and help people and things like that. I'm very much mom Virgo and then like the party girl Sagittarius and party girl Virgo. Because I'm not going to give it like the Virgo is no fun. The Virgos are fun, babe. Have you seen me lately? Have you ever met a dull Virgo? No, you can never say you have. And that's that on that, babe. So, you know, just looking at these energies and just seeing different parts of myself is very cool. And if I leave with anything, I say it does not matter what anyone tells you. Go explore whatever it is you want to explore. If you want to just read up on some stuff, divine feminine, I can tell you this. After, like, really diving into astrology and like just really reading on divine feminine and being around women that want to be better women that influence me to be my best self and not to be nothing like them to be my best self whatever that is and i can say community is beautiful and reading like um i was in a study group and we run we run <laughs> I was in a study group and we read Women Who Run With The Wolves. And it's crazy because I was actually like not too long ago thinking about the book and I just kind of dozed off into it like a daydream or dazed off into a daydream. And I just thought about myself running with wolves and just I was just naked and I was just free. My little curly hair was just flowing and I was just running and happy. Like it was beautiful. And... I just always have been preaching first off through my business and through my own mouthpiece about just defining you for you and not letting societal pressures tell you you can't do something. I am walking proof. I have literally done a 360 in my life and have become the woman that I've always wanted to be and I'm continuing to become her, the it girl, that girl, that me babe. So. I know it's off topic, but it's still on topic. But make sure you go get a natal reading. I'll list her name below. And you never know what you can find out about yourself. Because I learned so, 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 so much. Even if it took me a year and a half to actually receive it, I received it. And I think things always come back around in the correct timing, in the divine timing, because why would I like just randomly click it on one day? And I was just like, it's so funny because I know I was listening, right? I just couldn't receive every message that she gave me or everything. But I know I was listening because every time she said something on cue, on the same part, I was like, mm, girl, yo, mm -hmm. Every time I started busting out laughing because I'm like, on every part at the same time, every single part at the same time girl it was hilarious so y'all stay beautiful i hope y'all have an amazing week and make sure you check out Saturn fantasy and you check out anything and all the things that i have going on y'all i have so much going on i'm in festivals events and if you don't know what Saturn fantasy is or what it stands for or anything like that i serve to help women embrace themselves, whoever you are, whatever you are. We sell glasses for men too, but we are called the untamed woman because there's nothing and no one holding me back from my greatness but me, if I let myself. 
And to be untamed, to be free is a woman that is fearless. You know, who puts like, my therapist used to say to me when I was like 21, she would say, yeah, we put fear in the back seat, Alexis. We put fear in the back seat, Lexus. And I'm like, girl, be quiet. What are you talking about? But it makes so much sense now. Just like, you got one life to live. Tackle it. Whatever it is that scares you to death, everything that has ever scared me to death, I started trying to do it. Dancing in front of people. Acting. Like, I've always wanted to act. But, like, I just was like, I don't know if I'm going to, like, show up. And I started getting opportunities to act and I showed up for myself and that really boosted my confidence and I have no regrets. I have like, when I look back at past pictures of myself and thinking about the things that I went through in my past versus now, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. You know, these last two years, like from quarantine on, they have been so transformational for me because... I really said, fuck it. <laughs> I really said, fuck it, you know? And just said, I have to live my life for me. Like, or my life serves no purpose. And I know that I have, I have a purpose on this earth to help others, to be of service to the people, to be the mouthpiece, whatever it is. And, you know, so breaking past those self-imposed barriers that either people put on me or I put on myself or whatever it is, I am dedicated to my healing. I am dedicated to discovering and figuring out all that I'm capable of and learning more and being more, being healthy, being happy, being grounded and being able to pull myself back to wholeness and oneness when I get out of whack. And like I've told you guys, these last seven months, yes, they have been hard, but they have also been beautiful at the same time because I've come to realize so much. When you get sick of your own shit, that's when you start changing, okay? That's when you start to change. And again, I've been in uncomfortable situations and I've been forced to grow. My back has been to the wall to grow and I'm okay with it. So I look so, 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 so forward to what is coming next for me because the opportunities are endless. And I also say, I went to this metaphysical store, right? And I asked the lady, I was feeling really, really confused that day. Like I just kind of felt down. And I just asked her like, you know, when do mentors come? Because, you know, I was, I want a mentor, whatever, whatever. This was like a year and a half ago when I asked the lady this. And she was like, they come at the right time. She was like, it's not like you just go. I mean, you can go ask people to be your mentor. But I think a lot of times and like the mentor I had, you know, it kind of just like happened. Like it was just like divine timing. So don't force anything. Everything is as it should be. And everything that you need is already within you. And I know it sounds cliche, it sounds crazy, but the more I repeat that to myself and give myself love and give myself what I need, even if it's resting all day, whatever it is that I need, I'm going to do it because I'm dedicated to my personal freedom and my personal happiness and my personal legion, as they say on uh, The Alchemist, my personal legion. So, you know, stay inspired, stay, stay beautiful. Things might not always go as you think they should, but they will always go as planned. If that makes sense, baby. So stay beautiful, y'all. And y'all know I call y'all guys and goddesses or I call y'all y'all, okay? So I love y'all and thank you again for always supporting my channel. Stay tuned for new content. Stay tuned for a new do. I love y'all and I look forward to seeing y'all either at my events on TikTok, on YouTube, or me shouting you out on Siren Fantasy. I love y'all and I'm so, so, so appreciative of y'all because y'all rock with me. Y'all rock with me. Like, and I'm here for it, babe. <laughs> so I love y'all. Keep the amazing, beautiful energy. Alexis and Siren is coming back, babe. I don't know how, when, what, or where, but I'm going to manifest Siren getting another performance soon, okay? So see y'all. Have a wonderful, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful week. Love y'all.